you guys the economy is tough like it is tough 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 like killing like that's how tough it is and you might find that even as a student you might want to start making some extra money through odd jobs that you can do while you are doing your studies so in this video we're covering top 10 jobs that you can do as a student to make extra money to i don't know keep yourself busy or even to gain valuable experience so that by that time you are done with your studies you do have some skills and experience that you can refer to in your job applications so stay tuned if this is what interests you Hello everyone and welcome to I Know You Know, your one stop knowledge sharing platform for all things careers, life after high school, as well as opportunities that are available to you. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you know when we put our next video. As mentioned in the title, we will be discussing the top 10 jobs you can do as a student. Let's get into it. Now the very first job, and you've probably guessed it already, is tutoring. Of course, tutoring had to be number one. You know, tutoring is amazing because you are furthering your studies. This means that you are competent in one or other subject, you know. And secondly, with being a student post high school, you can actually tutor high scholars. That's already a huge number of people that you can tutor. But you can also tutor people that are in the lower levels than you in the learning institution that you are. So this would be people that are doing courses that you have already previously done and passed. This means that when it comes to tutoring, there will always be a pool of people that you can actually tutor. You just need to mark it in the right places and put it out there or send word out there that you are a tutor. The second positive about tutoring is that you've got flexible hours. Remember with tutoring, you can set the hours that you have available to offer your tutoring lessons. This means that it does allow for a more flexible approach, especially if your course is very demanding or if it can have erratic days where on the one on the one day you might need to study longer than what you normally do or maybe if you have exams and so forth you can actually shift your tutoring schedule around in order to accommodate your studies which makes it an absolute brilliant thing to do as a student the third thing is that with tutoring you can decide if you want it to be in person or virtual now this is also amazing because you don't need to spend extra money traveling for example especially because institutions normally have wi-fi and so forth so for virtual lessons you wouldn't necessarily need to pay an arm and a leg and so forth however when it comes to other jobs you may need to travel there you might need to you might need to be stuck in traffic and things like that so with tutoring there's a whole lot of flexibility even when it comes to the place at which you tutor and the last positive about tutoring is that you can gain experience teaching experience that is through your tutoring and secondly you build your communication skills so remember with whatever job you want to end up in you do need to communicate with people you do need to work in a team so with tutoring along with learning how to teach someone and possibly even getting more competence in the subject you will actually also gain those communication skills that are required in order to communicate with different types of people that you will find in the workplace so if tutoring sounds good to you i would advise for you to go for it number two retail jobs now retail jobs are really great for students especially because they do sometimes have part-time jobs that you can do which could allow for you to fit your schedule in but secondly a huge thing that retail stores do or a popular thing that re retail stores do is that they get additional people during the festive season this means that as a student while you're on a break you can actually end up gaining money as well as learning valuable experience while you're actually on a break. The good thing about retail jobs is that you get to gain customer experience, which is absolutely great in whichever job you'll end up in. Because at the end of the day, regardless of the job, there is always someone that you are serving, whether it's your boss, whether it's the team you're supporting, regardless of the industry, you do have a client that you are serving. And so with retail jobs, you end up gaining that experience of interacting with the customer, understanding what the customer wants and serving them in a way that actually speaks to the type of customer they are because not every customer is the same. So with retail jobs, you get to gain these very valuable customer interaction skills. And depending on the type of retail job it is, you can actually also gain sales skills as well, which is amazing. So the second one is retail jobs. Number three, free lancing now whether you are skilled in writing drawing graphic designing or even websites doing websites and things like that there is 
space for you and there is a way that you can make really easy money so websites such as upwork or fiverr actually have jobs that are tailored according to the skills that are necessary so if you are skilled in one of these things that i've mentioned and other freelance type of skills you can actually just go on these sites and look for projects that require the skill that you possess as well as projects that have a timeline that you can fit into your schedule the beautiful thing about freelancing is that once again it is a very flexible option in the sense that you don't need to show up anywhere at a specific time and you can also fit it in your student schedule secondly by doing freelancing tasks you get to build a portfolio that you can showcase later on when you are applying for jobs imagine you get to the end of your studies and you're a web developer and you've developed five websites for different clients and you've even gotten reviews and so forth that will actually enhance your portfolio and it will make sure that whoever you are applying to knows your value and can see that you've already added value even in your individual capacity of course this will definitely improve your chances of getting employed or of being included as part of future projects so number three is freelancing number four food services now these types of jobs includes being a waiter a barista or someone that is generally working in a food service type of establishment these are also quite good for students because they do also allow some flexibility so for some of these you can actually end up having hours that are outside your study hours which means that you don't necessarily need to show up there in the morning but you can show up there for the afternoon or evening shift which allows you to actually do this work after your studies these are absolutely great because there's quite a lot of options in terms of eating and food establishment food related establishments and also it is quite a great way as well to learn how to interact with customers and how to communicate with people so give this a shot if this sounds interesting number five campus jobs a lot of campuses actually offer a whole range of jobs to their students this can either be in the library in the dining hall in student centers and so forth these jobs are typically great because they do understand and allow for a student type of schedule of course it's not like they're gonna be like you don't have to show up for work because we understand your student and 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 no you still do have to show up you still do have responsibilities but what this means is that in terms of the schedule and how they set up their hours they are cognizant of the fact that you are a student given that it's a student job so these are absolutely great especially because you don't have to travel as well for these jobs because they are already on the same campus that you'll be doing your lessons last but not least these jobs are absolutely great because you can actually start integrating into the university experience meeting a lot of people and actually getting to really interact with the people that are in the same university as you are that might not necessarily be in the same program as you so campus jobs are definitely a way to go number six research assistant now if you're looking to gain experience in the exact field of study that you're in you can actually become a research assistant a lot of professors are studying further some are doing their phds some are just doing a whole lot of research within the field and are typically looking and keen to employ research assistants so if you're keen to do this you can actually approach your your professors your lecturers and essentially find out who might be needing a research assistant by doing this job you get hands-on experience in the field that you are also studying in but also you also get to build researching skills and working under a boss for the first time which actually in and of itself builds your experience as a potential employee in future but also as a potential researcher especially if you're also looking into studying further or you think you might be interested in studying further and taking your undergraduate to a postgraduate level and so forth so that's number six being a research assistant number seven is babysitting or pet sitting if you enjoy children or you enjoy spending time with animals you can actually explore the job that is babysitting or pet sitting this is a great and fun way to make extra money especially because it can also be flexible a lot of families need babysitting or pet sitting for specific hours some actually even need just au pairs that will pick up their children from school drop them off at home help them with homework and so forth and this can just be a job that you do for two to three hours in a day and it's not necessarily very demanding but can also be fun and um, can actually build your, your interaction skills and your skills of engaging with either children 
or pets. Another brilliant way you can do this is over the holiday season where people might be traveling and looking, especially for pet sitting um, services where they will be traveling, where they are not allowed to bring their pets and so forth. This is also something that you can do over the school holidays when you're on a break. This is a great and fun way to build experience. And the beautiful thing is that you can actually start with people that you know. You can start offering to take care of their children or take care of their pets. And gauge if this is something that you'd like to do before you actually do it for people that you don't know. Number seven, babysitting or pet sitting. Number eight, social media management. This job is especially ideal for those that are studying media or communications related programs. This can be a flexible and fun way to make extra money. A lot of small businesses are looking to get people to manage their social media pages and it's even better if you are studying this in theory because you also get to apply whatever you're learning in class on the social media pages that you could be managing. This is a great way to make extra money. It is flexible. You do it from the comfort of your own res room or your own home. And it also does allow for a flexible schedule as well, which can fit right into your studies. So if you are keen to learn more about marketing, learn more about social media, you can pick up a skill or two from even watching YouTube videos and end up offering your services, especially to small businesses, which may be looking for just somebody to lend a helping hand. Number nine is administrative support. You can offer administrative support to an office environment, either by being a receptionist or just by doing general admin type of responsibilities. Now, with this role, you will need to be careful of the working hours, especially if it is a full on nine to five working environment. You need to make sure that it does fit into your schedule. And for some students, it can fit into their schedule, especially if you are studying long distance, maybe you're with UNISA and so forth, and you can have a flexible kind of daytime routine. You can explore this job and then maybe look into studying in the evenings. But if you do have classes and places that you need to, or things that you need to attend, such as tutorials, labs, and so forth, you can explore doing a virtual assistant job. This will allow you the flexibility that an office administrative job might not allow you while still allowing you to make money and build admin related skills within this space. So yes, number nine is administrative support. Number 10 is campus ambassador. So there are a lot of campus ambassador roles that are available on your different campuses. Now, some of these could be directly with the campus itself. Some could be with different raises. Others could be with brands that are looking to work and gain exposure in the student community. So for example, I know when I was in varsity, there, was, there were these Red Bull girls. They were so cool. I wanted to be a Red Bull girl, but I didn't have a license, so there's that but anyways so what they had to do is essentially go to events distribute red bulls and they got to drive the really cool red bull mini coopers all across campus so that was really really cool so you can do something like that whereby you do some sort of ambassadorship across or on your campus now this can include organizing and hosting events this can include distributing materials this can also include just promoting different brands on your campus. Remember, the campus community is a very huge and lucrative community that a lot of brands are looking to connect with. So there are a lot of opportunities when it comes to becoming an ambassador. So if this is what you would like to do, this will allow you to build marketing skills as well as get money in a very fun way where you get to interact with your campus community and have fun while you do it. So yes, that is number 10. So there you have it. Those are the top 10 jobs you can do as a student to make extra money, but also to gain valuable experience. Remember, it can be challenging to balance working as well as studying, especially because both do have demands and in both you will have responsibilities that you need to show up for. So whatever you do, pick something that you're interested in, but also something that fits into your schedule. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please distribute it also to students that you know to say, hey, 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 this is how you can survive this economy. You know, we got you. We got you guys. But anyways, um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.